All right, Monday, June 27th, about to go fish a Monday nighter with Dylan. It's kind of a, a new lake for both of us. I got a little glimpse at it yesterday. It's gonna be a tough one. It's very shallow. There's only two spots that get over 10 feet deep in the lake, but most of it's like five feet, just full of milfoil grass. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of punching. We're gonna be doing some frogging, maybe hit a couple of those deep holes because I did mark some fish out there. I caught one small bass and then we caught two pike in it. So I don't really know what to expect. Don't think we'll be seeing any big ones, but we're gonna have fun anyways. It's you know nice and sunny out. The bad thing is it's pretty windy. So if there is any audio, it's probably gonna be dog sh Hopefully get some audio, but realistically we might not get any. So let's cross our fingers. We need to get five here. It's gonna be a struggle. You know, but Dylan and me, we just never know. Sometimes we just pull it out of our ass when we need to, and we need that tonight. So, gotta pick up Dill, and then we'll get out on the water. So, we'll see you guys there. Try and keep you tuned for the whole tournament, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can make it happen today. So, let's do it. All right, guys, real quick before we get any further into the video, unfortunately, the way I set the GoPro up, I didn't get any audio. It was a complete mistake on my part, and this will be the only video that doesn't have any audio to it. Um, I know how important audio is, so it was a real bummer when I looked back on this footage to see there's no audio, and this angle really wasn't good, but this is the first tournament I ever fully filmed, and Dill and I are just kind of, you know, seeing how it went and it was really fun to have the camera there, but I really, I just set it there and kind of forgot about it. And, um, you know, we fished, we fished hard. All videos after this will have audio and they're gonna be from a better angle. So um, I apologize for that because that's on me. But uh, I'm just gonna kind of voice over, kind of take you through the, the tournament a little bit and, um, you know, we want to salvage this footage because it turned out to be a pretty good tournament for us. So without further ado, we'll get into it. We started on the spot that was just a bunch of lily pads, kind of this cheese grass on the top. It was in about four feet of water with fish all over it. Um, caught a couple there on a frog in practice. So I started throwing a white Terminator walking frog and then Dylan was punching and basically Five minutes after we pulled up, Dylan went to the back of the boat to get a good angle on this, this patch. And so he flips in to the patch and you'll see me react right here. Yep. Yeah, he set, so he sets the hook, gets his fish in, didn't get any of it on film because of that angle and didn't get any audio. So this was a shot I would have liked to have gotten, but that fish weighed three pounds, three ounces. Super good start because there's not a lot of big fish in this lake. So we kept fishing this area and I had a couple blow ups on this white frog that they missed. And yeah, right here, I, I get a blow up. So this fish missed my frog and you can see I'm, I'm still working it. And then once I get the frog in, I point into Dill exactly where that blow up was. And so he flips right in there, you know, raises that rod a couple times bam gets us gets the bite this one was a small fish just kept uh, i think it was one pound four ounces but fish number two i knew it's a no-no to throw a white frog when it's that sunny out so and, and the fish told me that they didn't want it they were they were missing that frog so I ended up tying on a Booyah Pad Crasher in their brown color. And this was like maybe my second cast with it right here. I threw a deep cast all the way back to the cattails, walking it back, bam, fish on. This one wasn't, wasn't very good fish, but uh, had to horse them in through those lily pads. And uh, you can see I'm a little cut off with the GoPro angle right here. All 
Yep, get this fish in here. He was like a pound six, one six, I think. So number three, got him in the box. And uh, now I knew that the color I was throwing was the right color because this one had it choked. Um, but yeah, so we're just kind of celebrating and get, getting the third fish in the boat. And then after this, I looked back to the left and there was this perfect hole. It just set up so good. And uh, so I threw it way deep back there, worked it through the lily, through the lily pads right off the cattails. And then I get to that hole and I started slowing that walk down right here. And this fish just blew up so hard on the, on the, on the frog, set the hook, get him in, crank him through those pads. It was a deep cast, so it takes me a while to get this fish in. Um, I had the lean going with this guy, and uh, yeah, you'll see. I flipped this boat, flipped the fish into the boat, and he actually came off right once he touched the carpet. Flipped, almost gets out, and then I tackled the fish to keep him in. And uh, this was one part I really wanted some audio for because we were just laughing. But yeah, that was that was a nice fish, two pound, fourteen ounce. Um, another good one and then I picked up a wacky rig and uh, yeah I threw, I threw it in right here by this lily pad patch and caught this fish so we had to kind of work in I was fishing with light line so we had to work into those lily pads for Dill to reach down and lip him get him in the boat here he was like 13 and a half inches so just short um, and then what we did is we went to an area that I didn't pre-fish. It was one that looked really similar to this um, when I looked at it on the map. So I just left it and figured if our spot kind of slowed down, we'd move over here. We get to it, we fished it for about 10 minutes and then we worked up this little opening in it. And I threw a deep cast way down this opening. Started walking that frog right in the open between these pads and it gets slurped up, set the hook, wheel this fish in. Thankfully there wasn't as much cheese and pads in the way. Worked this fish in, flip him in the boat. He was just barely skin hooked, um, but thankfully I got him in. He weighed a little over two pounds, fish number five. Um, so that was a good feeling. We got our limit. Um, our limit then was for just over 11 pounds somewhere in that range 11 and a half i think and uh we fished this area for a bit longer and then we actually went back to our original lily pad patch didn't get any bites in there so once we got about 30 minutes out till weigh in we decided we were going to go there's only one deep hole in this lake so you'll see us here we're trolling out to that hole, um, it's pretty close to our original area. Trolled out to that deep hole, got to about the middle, and uh, we were seeing some fish kind of in some scattered grass patches. So we both picked up the drop shot. I caught a couple pike and, and one bass in here in practice. And uh, so yeah, we're tossing the drop shot out and I get bit right here. Working in that fish, this one made me look like a baby dog me. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger one. Get some netted uh, fish was one pound 14 ounces so cold our smallest that i think was like one four gave us almost three quarters of a pound and put us over that 12 pound mark and uh you know got us to a place we were we were happy with for this lake and yeah we we basically wrapped up fish in that hole um didn't didn't catch any more i think we caught a couple pike but we wrapped up in that hole and then we went back to the launch and I actually do have audio after this. So, um, so without further ado, we'll get right into that and see how things shook out. 
I know it kind of gives it away with our uh, thumbnail here in, in the title, but um, let's get to weighing. believe that 12 pounds won us that tournament because uh i can't even tell you how many times dylan and i have weighed in 12 13 pounds so that was pretty cool and to do it on a lake that we really don't have much experience on was pretty special and to do it where my dad grew up and whatnot me and my dad were able to pre-fish yesterday out there and without that we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have won it i mean i knew where some fish were but i didn't expect it to be you know, as good as actually it went. So we fished clean, we caught, you know, we caught basically every fish that bit and Dill caught that one that, that was like three pounds, four ounces that unfortunately, um, he was in the back of the boat. So I don't think you got to see it on this at all, um, but he caught a nice one and that ended up winning big bass too. So just psyched right now um, to actually win that one was, was special, so. What a cool, cool first video of this tournament. I'm gonna try and keep doing these because uh, I had a lot of fun doing it and maybe it, maybe it brought us some luck. So um, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Good night of fishing. 12.11 was what we had and we won. 12.10 was second. So it just went our way tonight and uh, I'm psyched about it. So I'm gonna get this boat put away and uh, we'll see you guys next time.